everything his heart desired. The prince was born, selfish, and unkind. But then, one winter's night, the old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for her shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. When he dismissed her again, old woman's loneliness melted away to reveal beautiful enchantress. The prince tried to apologize, but it was too late. For she had seen as a real love in his heart. And as punishment, she transformed into a hideous woman. Powerful spell that all of the world. Ashamed of his monstrous form, the beast concealed himself inside his castle with a magic mirror as his only window to the outside world. The rose she had offered was truly an enchanted rose, which would bloom for many years. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return by the time the last petal fell, and the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast?
If I ask you something, will you answer me honestly? Well, don't I always? Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd? <laughs> Where in the world would you get an idea like that?
one there? Well, do we end up one word? Please, I've lost my way in the woods and I'm looking for a place to spend the night. Oh, poor fellow. God's word, have a heart. Monsieur, you are welcome here. I heard that. Someone's there and I thank you kindly to step out where I can see you. Hello. Ah! <laughs> no, please, sir, I didn't... Wait a minute. Oh, sir, you're a clock. And you're... You're talking. Yes, astonishing, isn't it? And quite inexplicable. Now, goodbye. God, oh, well, I am surprised at you. Where are your manners? How is this accomplished? This must be some kind of new scientific gadget. Hi, sir, not a gadget. Oh, stop it. What are you doing? Oh, really, sir, do you mind? Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. I've never seen a talker talking. Oh, you! Bless you. Oh, you are true to the board, monsieur. Come, warm yourself by the fire. No, 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 Lumiere's head of the household. I demand you stop right there. Oh, no, 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 not the master's chair. Oh, I'm not seeing this. I am not seeing this. Yeah. What's this? Do my eyes see me or is this a man? It's been so long since I've seen a real man. No offense, Lumiere. Bonjour, monsieur. Mind if I sit here? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> This has gone far enough here, and I think about time to move. <laughs> How would you like a nice spot of tea, sir, to warm you up in no time? No, no, no tea. He'll be here all night. No tea. There you are. Oh, thank you. I didn't... Oh! <laughs> I think you're scared him, Mama. <laughs> well, what's your name, little fella? Jeff. Big. Careful blanket, monsieur. Uh -oh. I just love older men. Oh, Babette, you're always trying to make me jealous. Well, it's not going to work this time. Me? What about you? We'll see more. Jacques. Michel. Yeah. Veronique. Oh, oh Veronique. <laughs> Calm yourself, Cogsworth. The master is never going to know. As I was saying, he's uh, bound to find out sooner or later. <laughs> no, no, remain calm. There is absolutely no reason to panic. Yes, right. There's absolutely no reason to panic. May I borrow this? There's a stranger here! Master, allow me to explain. The gentleman here was set upon by... Who let him in? I take this opportunity to say that I was against it from the very beginning. Who dare disobey me? Oh dear. You involved a tree. Who are you? Maurice? What you did in my castle? Nothing I didn't mean to. I just... You're not welcome. So I'll just be on my way. No, I didn't think it was. Oh, you come to stare at the beast. No, I didn't. I just lost my way and we're running for a place to stay. I'll give you a place to stay. No. No, please, no! Help to 
Slowly but surely, as every day passes, we will gradually become things. But why did we have to get dragged into this whole spell business? It's not like we threw that poor beggar woman out on her ear. No, but are we not responsible too, for making him the way he is? I suppose so. All I know is I will eventually melt away to nothing. I hope there is something left of me if the master ever breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We've got to hold on. Um, is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl. Yes, I can see it's a girl. <laughs> It's a girl! Oh, you Julia, really have more than that. How should I should do most of the time? Oh, yeah. Just one word, that's all I'm asking for!
on your back. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh no, no, get it off me. It, it, it won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Oh no, what's happening to me? It's the spell, I'm afraid. Why relax? 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 How can I relax with this appendage on my back? Oh, is there no dignity left for me? And what's going to go next? My mind? Remain calm. It will be all right. Frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you're not alone. We're all in this together. It's time for dinner. Where is she? Oh, perhaps I should check on her. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down to dinner. What's taking so long? Try to be patient, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, have you considered that this girl may be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good. Then, you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, the spell is broken and poof, we'll be human again by midnight. Lumiere, it's not that easy. These things take time. But we don't have time. The halls have already begun to wilt. Oh, it's no use. She is so beautiful. And I'm... Well, look at me! He has a point. Shh. <laughs> Master, you must help her to see past all that. But I don't know how. Well, you can start by trying to make yourself look more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And above all, what? You, you must, must control, control your temper. temper. <laughs> well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, oh, oh yeah, the girl. Well, you see, she's sort of in the circumstance. Uh, she's in the process. Uh, she, she's not coming. <laughs> what did you say? She's not coming. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, but you're human, so great. Let's not be hasty. Out of the way. Lumiere, stand aside. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I'm the 
the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come down to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't just go around ordering people when to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can. And besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? Well, how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you by your hair. And, uh, this may not be the best way to win the girl's affection. <laughs> so difficult. Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner. Ah, so you admit you're being a bully. The tea breaths cost to tea breaks. I'll give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah. Please. No, thank you. Fine, then starve! Master. <laughs> She doesn't eat with me. She doesn't eat at all. Ah! Oh, what are we thinking? We'll never be human again. So it appears. Well, what will the two of you help us do? Give up? I will not give up until I hear the sound of my son's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Miss Potts. We must not give up while there's still time. Lumia, stand watch at the door and inform me at once if there's any change. Oui, mon capitaine. I ask nicely, and she refuses. What does she want me to do, bang? Show me the girl. I know that. When he leaves on the side first, he's not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but you get to know him. He's really not that bad. I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. No. How long must this go on, this cruel trick of fate? I simply made one careless wrong decision. And then that witch was gone, and left me in this state. An object of revulsion and delusion. The hater, is there no one who can show me how to win? Impress her with your wit. Shower her with compliments. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Lumiere! Oh, Lumiere! Ah, Babette, come to me, my little fluff. The wig. You think a little thing like that would change my feelings for you? Now it really tickle my fancy. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh no no! I've been done by you before. <laughs> Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. All great for Mrs. Potts to see you in R and all the weight. Music. Music. Oh, 
Chère Mademoiselle, it is with greatest pride and deepest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. Now, we invite you to relax, let us pull up a chair, and the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be you. Our gift, be our gift. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin around your neck, sherry, and we provide the rest. So to show our service, we only live to serve. Try the great stuff. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. The homeless, this is ours. And I'm here, here, here.
Well, if you hadn't have run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't frightened me, I wouldn't have run away. Well, you shouldn't have been in the West Wing. Well, you should learn to control your temper. Now, hold still. You may sting a little. <coughs> By the way, thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Well, that's more like it. I knew that you should look if they tried. So, the ice is broken at last. Not a moment too soon, either. Have you taken a good look at the rose lately? It's losing petals at an alarming rate. 
not met in the past, but I can hardly bend over at all anymore. Clearly, it is time for us to give them a little push. We must find some nice romantic way to draw them closer together. I have just a thing. <coughs> How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. <laughs> together on their own. So peculiar, wait and see. A few you days more, there may be something there that wasn't there before. There may be something there that wasn't there before. There may be something there that wasn't there before. Shh, I'll tell you when you're older. Come along, Chip. Let's give them some privacy. Yes, Chip? I hope so. Soon. If it's to be. It's to be very soon now. Knowing no that this was indeed the legendary sword of Excalibur, Arthur tried to remove it from the stone. He tried once, to no avail. He tried a second time, but still he did not pull it out. Then, for the third time, Oh, that must mean he's the king! Save his I never knew books could do that. Do what? You take me away from this place for a while. It makes me forget. Forget? Who 
Yes, and so far he's been the perfect gentleman. <coughs>
don't leave the asylum in the middle of the night. But this fellow said you'd make it worth my while. Look, I've got my sights set on Mary Bell, but she needs a little persuasion. Turned him down flat. Yeah. It's like this, you see. There's a danger I'll be thwarted and denied by honeymoon. But a pretty thing I caught it refuses to swoon. So the time has come for murky plan for which I turn to a murky man to find that he were better than the Mason Daily. Take this go for granted. There's no path I haven't used. To a heart no seed unplanted, no flowers in true. But quite amazing to relate she dropped it far before her maiden was The Maison de Rue. I don't wish to see my head of blue. But I don't see how I can be of you. I love people. to take that chance. Master, just look at the rules. There's so little time left. I really don't think I can do this. Here, this may bolster up your courage. <clears throat> ah, you can do it, Master. I know you can.
as it can be. Have even friends that somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change. Small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the beast. With her. Ever just the same, ever a surprise, ever as before, ever just as sure as the sun will rise.
us do. So I finally know that I'll always be in this hopeless state and condemned to wait, wait for death to set me free.
dark. I've come to collect your father. What? Oh, don't worry. We'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. He was raving like a lunatic. We all heard him, didn't we? I heard him. All right, come on quietly now. Tell us again, old man, just how big was the beast? Enormous. He had to be at least eight, no, ten feet tall. <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. It's true, I tell you. What, what are you doing? The door me fell. Tell me, Maurice. When did you first start having these delusions? They're not delusions. The beast is real and so is the talking clock. <laughs> oh, well, it's a shame about your father. Yes, Son, you know my father's not crazy. I might be able to clear this little misunderstanding. If... If what? If you'll marry me. <gasps> what? One little word, Belle, that's all it takes. <laughs> Never! Fine! Have it your way! Take the old man! Wait! I can prove my father's not crazy! Show me the beast! Oh! That's him! That's him! Is he dangerous? Oh no, he'd never hurt anyone! I know he's a spiteful, but he's really he's kind and gentle. He's my friend. If I didn't know better, I'd say you had feelings for this monster. He's not the monster, Gaston. You are. Ha! Huh. She's as crazy as the old man. She said this beast is her friend. Well, I hunted wild beasts and I see what they can do. The beast will make off of your children. He'll come after them in the night. No, he'd never do that. Fuck it, the old man. I say we kill the beast. <laughs> We're not safe until he's dead. No one's stopping us at night.
Come on, dude.